Hey guys, so last time we learned everything there is to know about receiving. Um, well, not everything, but a bit of it. And now we want to actually send something because we want to, you know, talk to our server, see how it's doing. So I've set up a new server because the old server, all it did was just take a connection, send a message and then disconnect. So it didn't actually do any receiving at all. Um, but now I set up a new server and the way I've set it up is that it receives a message. So when you get a connection, it expects a message and I will send that message back along with a little extra, extra something. So I will fire that up. Exercise to server. There we go. Server started 35001. So I'm going to leave all of these servers up and running. Actually, you have my IP and you know, if it changes, I'll, I'll let you know so that you can test this out on my server. You don't have the right server for yourself. I will have these provided. We are going to learn how to write servers in just a little bit, but just for now, I want to have it super easy for you guys. So you can just connect to my server and have all the tests done. Uh, right. So this server is set up to receive a message, then send it back. Cool. Let's see what happens if we actually run this without sending anything. So I'm just going to run this. Okay. Let's see. So this has, the server hasn't written anything yet, but that's actually expected. I didn't, I didn't set this one up to actually write anything when someone connects. It just writes when someone actually sends a message and it types out what the message is. But our client isn't, isn't sending anything and it seems to be kind of stuck. I, mean, I don't think it's connecting. I actually think the connection did go through, um, but it's stuck. So let's break and see what's happening here. I'm breaking and as we can see, it's stuck in the receive function. And that is because receive is something called a blocking function, which means if there is no data available to be read right now, it will just block the CPU and wait there until some data actually does come in and then it will, you know, return. Uh, that means if we're in receive right now, but the server is, you know, it's never going to send anything. It's waiting for a message. We kind of started stuck in deadlock, you know, like the server is waiting for a message. The client's waiting for a message. No one is blinking. We need someone to send something or they're going to be stuck forever. So that's the problem we have right now. We're not, you know, following the standard of what this server is expecting. So let's quit that out. And then we can actually see on the server here. Oh, yeah, we did connect and I wrote a little message here. Uh, this IP left me hanging. Sad face. So I just typed that out to let me know that, okay, someone connected but didn't actually send anything. Um, how sad. So let's go ahead and send something, right? So we're going to use the send function. And it's startlingly similar to the receive function. We take a socket which is which socket to send data through. And then we have a buffer, which is just the data to send. Then we have a len, and that's the length of the buffer or how much data we want to send. And then we have the flags. So I'm just going to set up a little const. Let's make a static const char my message. And that's going to be, hey, what is my face? Oh, that's a short pointer, of course. So here's a pointer to my message that I want to send. So let's send it. So I'll send it through the socket we made. Then I'm going to send some my message. And then length is going to be a str length of my message. So it's the length of that string. And then flags, again, we're just going to take zero. Don't care too much about uh, flags right now. All right. So let's see if we can give this server here a friend. So I am going to connect. Let's see what happens. And there we go. Now we see on the server, this IP sent this message. It sent, hey, what is my little face? And then the server sent back, I received, you said, hey, how nice. So it's kind of like a double quotation here, but we wrote I received, right? Because that's the our part of the printf. So this is the thing that actually the server said. So the server says you said, and then our message here, and then you just added how nice. How nice. So now we've managed to set up a server that can read and send data. And we have a client that can send and read data. Very nice. We haven't managed to set up the server. I did that. It's my credit. You don't get to take that credit yet, uh, but you'll get there very shortly. I'm a bit perplexed why it shows me the local IP here, actually. Maybe the router has figured out that I'm not actually going to the internet. I'm actually just fucking going back in. 
Uh, who knows? Okay, cool. So that's the basic of sending data. I should say, while we are sending char pointers, and we're actually only sending C strings here, right? We haven't sent any like binary data or something. We're gonna get to that later. The main point is that char is just the byte char or the byte uh, type of C++ by default. It doesn't have like a byte array type. It just has char. That's the only one it has. So that's why you know you know right now we're sending messages because they're nice to read. But later on we are gonna look at sending binary data, and we'll still be using char arrays because that's just a byte array really. It just happens that char is also used for displaying characters. Um. So so yeah. So stay tuned for that.